What's important to you? What's important to me, man, is our people. You know, our people to wake up to what's going on. I think, you know, the African Americans especially are, you know what I mean? They're, they're like targeted, you know what I mean, when it comes to the Democrats and they use us for votes. So they, they'll never come through. And, um, you know, I, I come from poverty. You know, I come from the hood. I guess where I grew up at. And, um, you know, I always want to make a difference, make a change. So that's important to me. And family, family's important to me mostly, man. That's like number one to me. Right. That's why I'm here too. Healing, you know what I mean? Being across family and good relationships, positive energy, stuff like that. Amazing. And so when you say you want to wake up our people, you mean the blacks or all people? Black people, but all people too. But you meant the blacks? I think, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, if you think about it, like African American people are used targets. Like yeah. they use racism and they rape. Yeah. Like without that power, I don't think they would have much power. You understand what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people, like especially celebrities, they use African American celebrities to get the black people to vote and stuff like that. And that's that's what they always target. So I think that's important. But you know, it's not just about to me, like it's not just color. Obviously, like the, there's a lot of people of all different types of, of color that don't understand what's going on in politics, really. So yeah. but what is know? wrong with the blacks that they don't realize they're being used after all these years? Why can't they see that they're being used? Pride, race baiting. If, if if you use race, that'll make anybody jump. If you use our history, that'll make anybody jump. You know what I mean? Like they they can't see past white. That's the problem, and it's because our history. They use our history against us. Like when you, like when I was a kid, you know, in high <laughs> school, I learned about Kunta Kinte getting whipped. Why do Why do you need to? Push, I understand history, you know what I mean? Like, you got to know your history, you know where you come from. I get that, you know what I mean, for educational purposes. But I feel like they just try to, like, push it in our brains and, and make yeah. us feel like victims. Like, you can't make it. You can't get this far. And I think after a while, it's just like, you know what I mean? When I get brought up again, like, it was the white man's president. We will never get a black president. They gave us a black president. What did he do? Nothing. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're he right. didn't do nothing. So it's like, it's like, come on, man. Like, they keep using race. It's history. Like, you know what I mean? I think that is a strong power. Amazing. And you, so are you like, have you, are you conservative now or Democrat? I'm, I'm conservative, but I'm, I'm for the people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, it to, like, from what I promote, you know, how my fans are and what they love, you know, it may seem like I'm just like super right wing, whatever, but like, I'm just for the people. And I, and at the end of the day, it's what serves the American people, period. You know what I mean? And have no you always probably, been conservative? With, because most people, be, um, most blacks no. are Democrat, and then they become conservative. Have, yeah. So, I'm, oh, sorry to cut you off. No, I, I, I definitely wasn't conservative always. Like, um, I used to be on the other side. I didn't like Trump at one time, actually. It was like a little before, um, well, probably all the time before 2020, but 2020, I talked to a good friend around July. And, you know, we talked about politics and I, you know, and I just dug in from there to do my own research and stuff like that. And I ended up finding out a lot. Yeah. But, um, yeah, you put two and two together, like he, Trump ain't the only celebrity that got bashed, you know what I mean, for trying to go against the narrative. There's Dr. Sebi, there's Tupac, there's all kinds of other people that, you know what I mean? Yeah. So Amazing. And so once you became conservative, did you get, did your family get upset at you? Did your friends and things, they get upset at you for becoming conservative? Yeah, um, my mom, my dad, uh, family members, cousins, all kind of people, but they, they would stop talking to me, you know what I mean? But my mom, <laughs> my dad, like, I had to, I had to talk with them, you know, I mean, they're immediate family, so they would talk to me and, and, and uh, they're actually, they actually like Trump now. Oh, they do? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they actually like them now. Um, but the rest of my family cool. Like, the, everybody's cool. They just, you know, don't agree at this right. point. But in the very beginning, it was like they weren't trying to, like, mess with me, talk to me, nothing. So. And did that make you want to change your mind, or were you per, uh, persistent in doing what you need to do? Nah, man. Like, I, I'd rather be right. Uh, I'd rather be right. And uh, I feel like eventually they'll catch on yeah. eventually because they're going to, they're going to do a lot of stuff. And I don't think their plans are going to work very well. I mean, in my opinion, you know what I mean? I think it's going to backfire more people are going to start waking up. So. Amazing. You know.